Hey, what's up guys? Weevil here, back with another binder video for you guys. I haven't updated my binder in a while, but I have actually bought a lot of Abyss Rising, and for that reason, I decided I would share with you guys what I actually had to see if there's anything you guys would like to trade. I haven't traded anything yet, you know, from my channel to somebody else, but I'd like to start up a trading network because I find that a lot of people have stuff that, you know, buried in their tin somewhere that other people might not have. And they might not realize that is are actually that valuable. Also, people might have stuff that are just really far away that I can't get access to, and vice versa. So, you never know. I'd like to start up a trading network if possible. But anyway, guys, this is the binder, so check it out. As I said, I have most of the ultras and supers from the set. Uh, Bubble Bringer, I have four of those now. <laughs> I have to put them in separate sleeves because there are so many of them. Uh, plenty of the promos, Gaga Girl, I think I have three of her. Uh, same thing goes for Dark Smog up there. Uh, Abyss Dwellers have one spare. The Mermail stuff is in my deck, but uh, it consists of three copies of Abyss Fear, two copies of Abyss Linda, and an Abyss Megalo. I got another one of her yesterday in a pack. Um, not saying that I wanted her really, but if anyone's building with Doll Chase, please let me know. Shark Drake Vice. I have two of them now. Tanhazer Gate. It's a minus one. That's why I don't like it. Abyss Squall, Memory of an Adversary, as I said, I made a video about that recently. Uh, so, judge it as you will. Tyrant Dragon, very old school. Soul of Silver Mountain, which I saw being used the other day in a wind-up deck, which was quite surprising. But now that I think about it, it's actually not half bad to use in that deck. So I might actually test it out myself. But it's just a lack of space. I mean, 15 slots for an extra deck in wind-ups is pretty small as it is. You know? Scrap Archfiend, old school. I was playing Scraps yesterday on Dueling Network. I really missed that deck. It was simple, but effective. <laughs> Those were the best decks. Um, play set of Battle Faders. Arcanite Magician. Armor Blast, which I think in the current build of Insectors would actually be viable and you could actually use at one copy. Because you just use it to send, uh, you know, a Zek Calibre or something like that. A hero lives. Spellbooks. Bound wand. Mega Capital G made a video about spellbooks, prophecy, and why he thinks they could still be like the fourth best deck in the format or whatever the hell that means. Sorry, you're seeing repeats of Garga Girl, but as I said, I have a lot of her, so I have to place her in different places. Anyway, that's that's the kind of one main binder that I have. I do have a lot of other stuff which I haven't put into a binder yet, so I'm going to have to buy a second binder in order to facilitate that. But I will definitely get back to you if I get another binder video up soon. Anyway, I have plenty more great content coming up in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to start any kind of trading networks and stuff like that. Because, you know, it's important to me to get the stuff that I need as quickly as possible. And it's good to know that I have subscribers who will be willing to help me out in this regard. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.